What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil here and you are watching my YouTube channel SS Tech Tutorial. So guys today in this video I am gonna show you that how you can easily make a web admin panel using your Raspberry Pi 3. With this web admin or web admin panel you can easily control and install the PHP server, MySQL server and anything using the web admin panel. So guys without talking too much let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe my YouTube channel SS Tech Tutorial and stay connected with my channel. Webmin is an excellent way if you wish to have a web based interface for system administration. It removes the need to manually edit configuration files and make administration a lot easier. For Webmin administration setup, you need to have a Raspberry Pi 3, Model B or B+. In this video, I am using Model B+. Then you need to have a micro SD card and a SD card reader. Now insert the SD card into your SD card reader and connect it with your computer. Ok guys, now I am in my PC. Now first you need to download the latest Raspberry operating system image for your Raspberry Pi. You can easily download it from your Raspberry Pi official download page. Then first open up your SD card formatter and format your SD card. Now open up HR flashing software and flash the Raspberry operating system image into your SD card. It will take 2 minutes to flash. When the flash is completed, remove the SD card and insert it again. Then open up a notepad editor and make a file named ssh into your SD card boot partition. Now eject your SD card from your computer and insert the SD card to your Raspberry Pi. Then connect your Raspberry Pi with your router with a LAN cable and connect the power cable. Now go back to your computer and find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi using the advanced IP scanner. Now using PuTTY SSH software, take a SSH connection with your Raspberry Pi terminal. Default username is Pi and password is Raspberry. Then make a update and upgrade of your Raspbian OS using the apt update and apt upgrade command. When the upgrade is completed, reboot your Raspberry Pi. Now again take SSH connection to your Pi. Then type the following command in terminal. You can copy this command from the description below. Then you need to download the webmin package file using the wget command. You will also find this command in description box. Now install the webmin in your pi by dpackage command. When the installation is completed, again reboot your raspberry pi. When the pi reboot is completed, open up your favorite browser and type the ip address of your pi with the port 1000 into the URL. When you browsing the URL, you may get an SSL error. Click on advance and add the exception. Then you are ready to go with your webmin admin panel. The default username is pi and password is raspberry. Ok, we successfully logged in. Then you can move on to configuring any option that you wish to alter. There are a ton of options that you can configure in Webmin. This option including changing your SSL encryption, adding modules, logging, managing user, managing software package and so much more. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friend. And if you are new on my channel then please please do subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I am Mehdi Shakil, you are watching this tech tutorial and I am signing out.